Hello, hello, it's me, the Metaverse Explorer, and I'm back on the 7th of August. We're going to be looking at the Shilzine, issue number 67. If you didn't know, the Shilzine is an NFT magazine that actually covers artists, artwork, and a whole bunch of crypto and DeFi stuff within the Solana ecosystem, but sometimes talks about general market uh, items in crypto. So this is a magazine, right? It's free, totally free to view. You can go and view it in the description right now. This is created by Pixel Toy. I'm not gonna waste any more time. Let's have a look at this magazine. It's 136 pages in this issue, which is pretty bloody good in my opinion. Uh, so we have the cover page, of course, which is uh, re looks really awesome. I can't tell what it is. Like maybe it's like coagulated blood or something like that. Um, we got some thoughts, Guild 512, Masked Warriors, On Fire, uh, and much, much more. And then let's go on into the next page, which has a few of the other things that we might be talking about. First off, the editor. This is Pixel Toy. He creates, uh, he, he tells us about the issue, uh, tells us what's happening right now in crypto, what he's going through from his perspective. Now, during the past week, we had an insightful interview with Kieserfeld as he launched his first ever edition piece on Exchange Art. Now, if you didn't know, Exchange Art is a uh, NFT marketplace, usually uh, does one of one artists, which is pretty cool. 49 tweets tuned in for the discussion about his process, connection, and his role in being an NFT artist in the Solana space. Uh, Alan J hosted the space that had Key's revealing techniques and approaches to his pieces, currently working on transcribing the one hour interview to include the shilzine, to include into the shilzine. Now, the big, big item of discussion is, of course, managing your Web3 wallets. We have recently had a Solana, not really a Solana hack, but there was an exploit um, on one of the wallets um, in Solana ecosystem, not made by Solana, made by an outside company, right? They're called Slope. And they did something really, really, really stupid. They ended up storing your private keys, which is something that's super, super valuable and no one should know but you. They ended up storing those private keys on the internet in normal text so uh, they were able to get access to the private keys and that means a lot of people who ever access this uh, ever access solana using this wallet all their wallets work all their like uh their wallet was compromised so this just basically talks about you know how you should actually segregate your wallets and this is a super important um Super important um, thing for people to understand. You need you need to have your hot wallets and you need to have cold wallets. Even if you have cold wallets, you need to have ledger hardware backed cold wallets. Uh, what that means is that you physically have to sign the transaction and no one else. Let's go on. So basically, this is how it works. I go through the magazine. If I see um, an artwork or a, or an artist that I really vibe with, and sometimes they're really dark, I, I, so I go ahead and go to the Twitter, say hello. I'm looking at your art in the uh, art in the shieldzine. I really loved it, so I give them a follow, and and that's about it. And of course, if you if you find an artist that you like as well, go ahead and give them a give them a like. Some of these you can comment down below. Let me know. Do you like some of these artworks? There's more than just artwork as well. They talk about a Solana. There's a deep Dex comparison between Solana itself and Avalanche. Trader Joe is on there. Curve Finance, Pangolin, Platypus. I'm not really a big fan of the Avalanche ecosystem myself, but hey, Solana's not doing so well at the moment, is it? Now let's look at some most traded meme coins on Solana. Samo, oh my god, Woof, Mola, Kato, Dino, Ugi, Doge, Solab. Man. These meme, this now is not the time to trade meme coins, is it? Now is the time to just buy BTC, ETH, Solana, and sit, sit, sit tightly. All right. Um, there's a lot of stuff we can actually read, but I want to look at the artworks in these pieces, right? I'm not going to waste any time. I'm even getting away with all my intros. I don't think we even need intros anymore, right? It's just going to be me saying, hello, welcome. I do NFT magazines. Now, this is by Kiza Feld. I really love this. It's abstract, abstract work. Um, and there are actually, yeah, there's, look, there's a few more here. I like this. I'm going to go ahead and visit him on Twitter and say that, hey, I really love the artwork. Thank you very much. Existing on the line between code and paint. Uh, let's look at him again. Thrash, expressionist artist, builder and collector dot artist advocate. Private sales, physical and digitals available. Ah, his picture isn't loading, which is really upsetting. I want to see his pictures. Oh, very nice. Look at that. All right, let's tweet at keys, man. Hey, yo, looking at your artwork on the uh, Shilzine, Shilzine NFT magazine by Pixel Toy. Also recording a video and we'll tag you when it's out. Have a good day. Good day. Ciao.
Hey, uh, looking at your artwork on the Shilzine NFT magazine by Pixel Toy. Also recording a video and we'll tag you when it's out. Have a good day. Ciao. I loved seeing some of your art on there. Have a good day. Ciao. I think that's good. That'll really brighten up their days, you know. I'm just going to post that there. And then we continue with the magazine. We see some other artworks. And then if I like someone else, we go ahead and talk to him. Okay, we go ahead and go to their Twitter. Now we're already five minutes in. So I'm going to try and brush through some of these uh, some of these uh, uh, pictures. And you tell me which ones you like. Now, some of these are really like low, low effort. Uh, that one's nice. That's like a superhero thing. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, yeah, good. Maybe, maybe. That's nice. Now that's very good. I wonder where that's if that's actually a... Uh, a, uh, a picture made by him or if it's uh, actually a, a mural on a on a thing either way i love it i'm gonna go ahead and go to his uh j mez rogers dot eth photographer he's a photographer that makes sense foundation app oh man i'm gonna love it hey yo love it love it love it now i wonder if we can actually go to his website and have a look at him yeah james rogers we've got some other photography uh, that he does which looks really good and you can buy some of these straight from the artist, right? They're 0.1 ETH, 0.3 ETH. It just depends on how much you want to spend on these artists and how much you want to connect with them, right? If you really love their work and it really resonates with you, then what's the price? What do you put on that? All right. I love that. Ah, the same one. Same. I love it. I love it. Now, these are a bit low quality for me. I'm happy to put... Whoa! Now, look at that. Look at that one. That is incredible. Holy crap. Zatum. Let's go and have a look at this guy, man. Let's have a look. Zatum.soul. He's a 3D NFT artist on Solana. Working for Obey Alliance, Obey Studios, Gen Z, Make Waves. Man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go and look at the rest of your series. Now, Exchange Art. Remember, this is a one out of one. Um, um, uh, oh, look at these. Look at these. Holy crap. I love it. This is like Venom from the uh, DC Marvels. Uh, superhero he seems to focus a lot on like the uh, um, uh, demonic slash monstrosity slash um, theater of pain like what if you personified pain that's what it would look like man i love it i love it uh zatin thank you very much this is very nice artwork i love it all right let's move on let's keep going there are some lots of great artworks out here guys it just depends on who you actually resonate with uh, Wag Me Cafe. So Wag Me, of course, is the uh, is the little uh, uh, words by uh, OK Bears. They are an NFT. Ooh, look at that. I love that. I love it. Let's go ahead and connect with this guy. He is a senior creative retoucher and digital artist. He's got his link tree. Very much. Thank you very much. I love it. Keep going. Oh, this is good. I think I saw this guy before. I've seen that guy before. Yeah, I've seen that artwork before. These are some abstract. Ooh, yes. Very good. Very good. I keep finding all these nice ones. He's a freelance illustrator. Oh, if, and if I remember, this is from, it reminds me of Guts from Berserk. That was a really, really good anime. Really, really good anime. Let's look at his Instagram. Let's tweet at him first. Oh yeah, look at these. Look at these artworks. They are amazing. Very, very nice, man. Oh, some of these are great. Wow, look at this, man. Jesus Christ. Some people are really talented out there. Some people are so, so talented. That's great. Let's keep moving. We're at the eight minute mark. Let's keep going through all these NFTs. Some of them are good. Some of them are okay. Some of them need a bit of work. That's nice. That's not bad. That's nice. That's not bad. Oh, even that. Look at that. I love it. This guy is Linktree self taught artist, form function. Form function is another NFT marketplace on Solana. We're getting a lot of these one-of-one one NFT artists in Solana. Eden, we've seen these. Wow, look at these. Abstract. Abstract work. And of course, sometimes we get some, uh, some uh, great artwork. Yes, guys, great artwork. Now, Culture Hacker uh, has his Odyssey suits. They are getting quite popular now. Ah, now, ladies and gentlemen, we have, it gets a bit raunchy nowadays. Soul Potato, oh my god, every damn week I see the Soul Potatoes. Pixel Toy, what are you doing to me, man? Too many potatoes, too many potatoes, too much carbs. 
Okay, too many cubs, too many cubs. Okay, that's it for the uh, uh, Shilzine uh, this uh, week, issue number 67, uh, 68, sorry, I think it is. And thank you very much to Pixel Toy for showcasing some NFT artists in and around Solana. This has been Metaverse Explorer. Ciao for now.